Hi guys, Steph here. Now, occasionally I get I get a question asked to me. Where, Steph, where do you get your pens from? Now, for you people that watch my videos regularly, you'll see the answer in some of the videos that I've done. Where do I get my pens from? Anywhere I can find them. Unfortunately, in my opinion, it's now getting harder and harder to find fountain pens. So it's getting harder and harder to bring you these video reviews because well basically we're just not getting the pens and they're getting more difficult to find so yeah where do i get them from um i get them from car boot sales i get people sort of ringing me very very rarely occasionally they'll, they'll call me and say oh yeah i've got a penny interested whatever um i also go to antique fairs i go to antique fairs on a sunday morning and just to give you an example um yesterday well another <laughs> where do we get me pens from most times you have to actually go out there and find them they won't come to you so you've got to go and look for the pens so yesterday i thought i got up in the morning i haven't got much stock in and i thought right I'm going pen hunting and I went to a if you like an antique center um quite a number well quite a few miles away from where I live and I actually go there on a regular basis and have a look and try and check out and see if I can find any pens now most times that's not very fruitful I'll drive out there it costs me money and whatever um, and I'll come back empty handed now yesterday as I say I got up in the morning I said to myself right Steph let's go and do some pen hunting so um, I got myself a little bit of money that I have left in my pocket I got in the car drove to this antique centre and very very surprisingly I had a good well I was going to say a good morning it wasn't even a good morning actually I bought these within sort of minutes if you like and had a quick look round and, and I left because in my opinion I got myself a, a nice little haul so do you want to see them I can't hear you do you want to see them right okay then so what I came back with yesterday was a bunch of pens and um, let's bring them all out let's pop them down here is that everything Oh, one more left in there let's pop that to one side um, and this is what I actually found uh, yesterday now <laughs> it was a very strange morning the fact that I found some very interesting pens I found them very quickly um, so yeah very strange the fact that I went out and I came back with these so let's give you a look you know a rough look at what I found okay you've got some very basic ones and what I term as sort of everyday pens your Parker 45 uh, your Parker 51 um, what are these here you've got Conway Stewart now again sometimes when I'm actually buying these pens um, basically you've just got to buy what's there and if you look at this one it's got a big hole and a big crack um, but it's actually, I think it's what they term as a scribe, Conway, Conway Stewart scribe. Now, I still buy these pens because, well, like the likes of the nib. I'll reuse the nib. Um, I may reuse the lever. I may reuse the, the clip. So pens like this, they're still worth something to me for parts. So... Again, I've just found that one. What we've got here, again, two lovely everyday pens, two Parker Victories. Obviously, if you look at the clip there, um, one's an earlier model, one's a later model. Once we've restored them, they're a lovely, lovely pen, a lovely everyday workhorse fountain pen. So, a couple of Parker Victories, uh, we've shown you that one. Another 45, we've got a lovely little waterman's fountain pen there in this green marble um that'll be a lovely pen once we've restored it um we've got a i think this is a swan yeah if i look at you can see the clip there has got a little swan on it so this one's actually a swan safety screw on cap 
which well it does what it says on the tin it screws oh dear what happened then <laughs> oh, that's, that seems to be a bit oh there we go so there we have it so again once we've given that a clean it's got a nice little nib on it there so we've got a swan um, screw on cap safety pen um, we've got another well the, a swan you'll see these metal sort of cases from I think these are from sort of 1920s uh, but inside we've got a blackbird fountain pen you'll see you'll see the clip there's broken off but again well there's no nib in it as well so a parts pen as well so they all come in handy we've got a Schaefer I think this is a touchdown no cap with it so again when I'm buying pens um, as long as it's you know something that's no good or whatever um, I'll buy it even if it's broken because um, I can still use the parts what we've got there is a lovely black Croxley fountain pen again once they're restored and working absolutely lovely pens um, a Conway Stewart this is a 388 lovely condition in this mauve mauve marbling again in lovely condition the only problem being you can see there the levers missing so I'm gonna have to find a lever and you'll see the nibs missing as well now but saying that um, where is it where's that broken one there we go so we've got Conway Sh Stewart scribe here I'm not too sure I've not looked at it but maybe the nib from this pen will fit into this 388 we don't know yet but we'll have a look so that's why it's handy in some cases buying broken pens again we've got a Parker 45 biro or whatever it is we've got a lovely Conway Stewart here again levers missing let me have a look at the the number can't quite see it it looks like maybe a 45 a lovely large fountain pen again no nib or feed but maybe we'll have the parts for them who knows so again still worthwhile buying this because once I get a lever and a feed and a nib give it a rest some restoration that'll become a lovely pen this pen here I do not know what it is it's got quite a large crack to the top there it's got a looks like it says Jora nib with a number eight it's got a little ink window and it's some sort of plunger filler or whatever or but again no name on it so but again it's in rather bad condition so not sure what we'll do with that <coughs> excuse me now an interesting pen that I found is this one now maybe you people can help me out there um, I found this it looks very interesting there's no name on the uh, there's no barrel imprint no name to the pen but a very interesting pen if any of you people know what this is then I'd love to know if yeah I mean sometimes even I don't know what things are I have to make some sort of inquiries do a bit of homework but if anyone's seen one of these before um, yeah and has got a little bit of information it'd be appreciated you can see the nib there it's got this sort of quite a small or well quite a narrow nib and it's got this aluminium section here which if you unscrew I don't know it's got some sort of some sort of a filler so very unusual again aluminium top lovely condition actually and what I'll do is if I find out what it is and I get an idea of how it works etc who knows if we can get it going it'll be very interesting but a very interesting pen so if you know anything about this one give me a call and I think last but not, not least occasionally you'll find sort of what I term as everyday pens in your pen haul and occasionally you'll find some 
lovely little jewels. Take a look at this. This is a Swan Fountain pen and it's in this sort of lovely sort of smoked effect red and I assume it's hard rubber. Now actually let me get my eyepiece if you just bear with me. Yes we can see there we go very clear on the end of the barrel it's a 230 sorry 230 230 dash 53 lovely clear imprint to the end of the barrel it's got a lovely clear imprint on the barrel there you can see it's got this sort of step down vintage swan clip there and again a beautiful color you don't see these very often so and again needs cleaning needs servicing will make a lovely pen so again mm, whether it's a keeper or not I'm not too sure absolutely beautiful pen so pop that one back last but not least take a look at this beauty as well yet again another swan swan imprint to the top there lovely clear swan imprint to the barrel and to the cap I don't know if you can see it it says swan E444 so what we have here is a swan eternal 444 if we unscrew the cap lovely large eternal nib this one is actually a number four the only problem with this pen it has a slight crack to the section there but I'm hoping we can do something about that because it's a lovely very unusual and I think a rather rare fountain pen you can see it's in this sort of salmon salmon color and I'm assuming the age being sort of 1920s this is hard rubber and again very similar to some of the Parker sort of red dofold fountain pens a very quite a large pen an oversized pen if we get a Parker 51 which we all we all know if I pop that next to it like that you can see it's a little bit bigger so oops a daisy and again if I bring you this one there you go you can see it's an oversized Swan Eternal 444 so there we have it we've got some everyday pens we've got some stuff that is actually is well is basically going to be parts for us we're going to use for parts we've got a number of pens like the victories the croxley which i'll be rest well there's quite a few here that i'll be restoring some i am not too sure yet i say this every time i may be keeping in my own collection I am not sure yet so yeah keep your eyes peeled who knows some we've got some what I term as dregs I don't know what to do with that maybe I don't, well again I don't know what to do whether I'll keep it or just well I won't throw it away maybe somebody would be interested in restoring it but there we have it that was yesterday's pen haul so as I say yesterday unusually in this particular location I got lucky sometimes you've got to go out there and search and search and search and you will find them you do get lucky as I did yesterday so that's where I get my pens from that was yesterday's haul as I say with some unusual pens some everyday pens but for me <laughs> this was the icing on the cake these two absolutely gorgeous swan fountain pens this one being the eternal and the model that I told you the 230 230 53 did I say 
in this beautiful colour. I believe these two to be quite rare pens. So, that's where I get my pens from. These are the pens that I actually find out there. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this quick pen haul. Don't forget, leave a comment below. Have you subscribed? If not, why not subscribe? And then you'll see these lovely pens. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.